you like good music? Do you like great sounding music? Music that isn't compressed or processed or equalized or auto-tuned? You're in the right place. I got a bunch for you. And it's a free download from Todd Garfinkel's label called M.A. Recordings. He put together this sampler of 12 tracks, 82 minutes, and it's free. That's the best part, right? It's free, and now you can experience what that actually means when you hear music that isn't compressed and processed because pretty much all of the recordings that you own are processed in some way or another. So that's pretty cool. Now I've, I've known Todd probably 20 years at this point. We've become friends. He did a few sessions in New York maybe 10 years ago. So I watched him work and he's a true artist. He is, I really mean that. He is a true artist. The way he makes records is, is a completely different approach. It's the way he works. He, he picks uh, settings, churches, concert halls that sound good on their own. So he doesn't need to add stuff to make it sound good. The sound in the space is good. So his whole approach is he records live to two track, meaning two microphones, two tracks, that's it. No separate mics on anything. And uh, his goal there is to record not just the musicians making music, but the musicians making music in the space. So you hear the room, the space. It's an equal partner with the musicians themselves. That's not the way it works for most recordings. Most recordings are tracked and then later mixed and add all this other stuff in to make them sound the way they sound in the final product. That's not true for a Todd Garfinkel recording. What went down is what you get. Now I do have to say a word about recordings that aren't compressed. Recordings that aren't compressed, like Todd's, the average level, volume, of the music is much lower because it's not all comp you know, compressed and limited to sound loud all the time. Meaning that you, the listener, should turn <laughs> the volume up to bring up the average level. And then when it gets loud, it's going to be louder. So that's fundamental. A lot of people throw around that, the idea of this is an audio file recording, that's an audio file recording, Steely Dan, Dark Side of the Moon. Those are interesting recordings that many audio files love, and I'm not putting that down. But they're, they're just loved by audio files. They're not audio file recordings, in other words, made to sound real in the, it, during the making of the recording, right? Those recordings are put together from bits and pieces of sound and assembled into a thing that people love, and that's a beautiful thing. So if I whetted your appetite, well, go to MA Recordings website. I will obviously I'll link to it below. You'll see that image of the uh, square with the name of the recording, the audio file, MA Recording Sampler. Click on that, download it, and you'll have this amazing, amazing document of the music that Todd made. Uh, it's easier to do on a computer than it is on a phone. I recommend doing it that way. It worked better for me, but just, just saying. I'm just saying that's, that's the way to do it, in my opinion. Um, that's it. Oh, and while you're at the MA Recording site, look at all these other recordings that he's done. He's well over 100 albums to choose from. I should say, by the way, though this may come off as an ad, it's not an ad. He did not pay me to do this. I'm just doing this because I want to spread the word about his music, as I have in many of my reviews. But now you can actually hear what I'm talking about. So it's much better to hear it than to hear me blabber on about it, right? Anyway, I think my work here is done for today. My name is Steve Guttenberg. This is the Audiophiliac Daily Show. Thank you for being here. If you like what I do, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hit that button right down there. When you do, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time there's an amazing new episode. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at AudiophiliacMan, on Instagram at Steve.Guttenberg. Best by far is the Patreon at P A T R E O N dot com slash Audiophiliac. And now, now I'm done. And now I'm really done. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you back here again very, very soon. Bye-bye.